Soccer talent started in Kibera slums at KAG Church in Olympic Estate. It has since then evolved into the best talent nurturing academy in Kenya, currently training at Kenya Science. The academy is comprised of all types of kids and youths. According to soccer talent coach Glider Swanee, who has mentored several stars now with the national team Arambi stars like Jesse Were, David Cheche, among others, the initiative is the beginning of a journey that will see his outfit contributing to growth of football nationally. Soccer talent, I started in 2013. My idea was to put those kids together. I nurture them, at least I improve their skills. I realized that there's the, in soccer, we have to start in a tender age. So when they are growing, you improve their, their basics training. I've nurtured some players who have been in the national team. Some of them are in the national team and they've been supporting me. Some like Jesse Were, some like Cheche, some like Edwin Lavasa, some like Sad Musa. They've been there all the time when I need them and I'm happy with that. The academy whose product Kevin Manyasi is in the Kenya under-15 team that participated in Mediterranean International Cup under-16 tournament in Spain narrates about his experience with the junior stars. I started playing football officially when I was four years old. I love football because I enjoy playing it and it's a team sport so it involves many players and you get to interact with other people outside the country and locally as well. It's been good uh, getting to know other people, uh, seeing where you can improve in your, in your talent and also getting to interact with people and being able to represent your country most of all. So. Yeah, it's been a good experience. Manyasi, who draws his inspiration from Kenyan captain Victor Wanyama and Barcelona star Lionel Messi, is a former student at Strathmore and very happy of his parents due to much needed support they have given him pursue his passion in sports, adding that from the progress of both academies and on the pitch, the future is extremely bright. Victor Wanyama, like just inspired by him. Mm, he's been able to represent both his country and also play in Europe and he's also a good player. Uh, he's very disciplined as it's both on and off the pitch and he plays good football, yes, internationally, um, Lionel Messi. Both uh, character and the way he's playing. Because, okay, I play in the same position as Lionel Messi, so it's easier for me to relate with him than Cristiano Ronaldo, if you'd say, yeah. It's been tremendous because my father was the one who uh, enrolled me in a football club when I was four years old. And both my parents come to watch my games and they also support me by helping me balance between my football and my schoolwork. With 2019 AFCON around the corner and team selection proving to be a dilemma for Harambe Stars tactician Sebastian Minier, Glide has called upon the Frenchman to consider one of his former products, Were, who plies his trade in Zambia with Zesco United for place in his final 23-month squad that will do duty in Egypt mid this year, adding his partnership with Michael Lunga up front will solve the goal-scoring problems for Kenya. Personally, the way he's performing in Zesco, I've been scoring goals. In the those confederation on a league, he has been scoring, he's on form. So on my side, I was thinking if he's, he can be included the national team to Egypt. I always encourage him just to keep working hard. And then the, every coach has his philosophy. So don't lose hope, just, just keeping, keep working hard. But on my side, I see it's supposed to be the national. It's supposed to be the national team. It's supposed to go to Egypt. Personally, in the country, that's the best striking partner we have: Jesse Were and uh, Michael Longa. Kibra has managed to produce a few players in the Kenya Premier League, with only Eric Ouma featuring in Europe. And Aswani has attributed the scarcity to various factors, such as poor facilities, slum pressure, and poverty. I think on my side, I can, I, I can say it's a lack of facility in Kibra. And uh, it's all about poverty. I think even yeah, some kids who are in a poverty situation, whereby they don't have boots, maybe there's no dinner, maybe there's no breakfast. But we coaches in Kibera, we try our best to put them together. As long as, even if they are, there's the poverty, but we always talk, we always try to support their parents. Uh, the way we can as coaches in Kibera. So I think very soon some of our players will be in KPL, others will be in Europe.
no problem. Started as Olympic strikers in the late 90s, a period in which some of the current Kenyan stars were very young, Olympic strikers then became Olympic talented, boosting the best young talent at the time. And Aswani says better plans are in the offing with several friendlies and international competitions lined up for the academy. In Bulgaria, I already have an invitation letter from them. And then about the funding, parents are the ones who are going to fund our children. And then about the teams who are going, we have a soccer talent, we have a team from Nigeria, we have a Ligindogo from Kenya, and then we have a team from South Africa. Those academies from South Africa, like Kaiser Chiefs, the under-13s are going. We have a team from Tanzania, future stars are going. Soccer Talent Academy are the new 2019 under 15 champions of the second edition of Rausha Kipaj Cup after beating Nakuru Academy 1 0, and they also won the 2018 edition of the annual Chipkizi Cup. Last week we were in, um, in uh, Rausha Nakuru, we won under 15. In August we are going to Bulgaria tournament, Soccer Talent, and then uh, in December we are going to Dubai, and then we go to Tanzania, Rusha.